Hi, this is amazing Ken. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you how to create this magical moment, right? Let's see. Um, right now, I have a service, right? So, the carrier service, so I have two type of services I can choose from. Then if I change the IT, right, then um, I have three items I can choose from. Okay. So, how do I do that? Well, first, um, I make use of this offset to choose that. So, I have a category I can choose from, and then from there, I use the offset. The offset is very powerful tool, right? Say that, so I have this function called D2, right? Start from this cell D2. Now, cell D2, and then I have the match function. Now the match function give me at this point based on this IT I know that it is somehow in the third row in the third row right so in the third row but then oh uh, I need to minus two third row minus two become one so that is the first item right so you can see that there's a minus two, three minus two become one. So from D2, I move one row down. Alright, I move one row down. Now why is it minus two? Because above this category, above this first item in this list, right? I have two rows, two empty rows, right? Because I start in cell D2, but this is not counted and this is not counted, so it's called 2. That's why it's a 2 here. And the 1 here is that I'll move to the 1 column to the right. After that, I'll selecting number of call, uh, rows. How many? It depends on how many I have in this count if columns. So how many type or uh, the total number of IT uh, items in this column D. So I get three. So therefore, I'm selecting the three items. And I'm selecting only one column value. So therefore, I have one here. Now this can be omitted as well. So with that, we can create this offset. So first we create a, under formula, we go to a name manager, create a name cell, right? And then choose a list. And this basically is the same as this. So we type this into this list to create a name range, followed by data tab, select this cell available choice, right? Data validations. And here we choose child list, which is the name range child list. And then click OK. And that's it. There we have. Right, so I got created this soft skill, and I have this item. All right, this is uh, another amazing Excel tips, right? For those who want to do things much faster, so get to know this offset better, and uh, you can do amazing things. I think the more you know, the more in depth, the more time you spend on one particular subject you become the expert in it i uh, remember you're amazing believe you're amazing and you can learn amazing things and become amazing human being i wish you well